Okay, Google, open the curtain. So what's up guys and welcome to a new episode here on Shades of Tech. My name is Fabrizio but you can call me Fabri and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more videos. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the world's first retrofit smart curtain. Switchbot was the pioneer of retrofitting smart curtain and I really wanted to test those products for a long time. But before we start for full disclosure, Switchbot sent this product after my explicit request so thanks a lot but I want to make clear that I am not paid or sponsored in any way and as always all the opinion in this video are my own. You need to know that there are many accessory and rail types to unbox but every each of them includes all these small tiny accessories and details that you need to properly install and retrofit your curtain. Of course USB to USB-C cable is always included to charge and the instructions are pretty easy to understand. The main difference depends on which rail you have for your house and your curtain. Here we have two types, the road rail which is the most common in black and the U-rail both in white and black which is definitely my favorite because it looks so clean. Every rail type comes in both black and white to blend in better in your space according to your colors. So Switchbot says that the installation process is just 30 seconds but I couldn't believe it. Before trying it looked simple but I didn't imagine it was so natural and fast. For the U-rail the easiest way is to remove the closing at the end and just slide it on uh, the, the rail uh, or you can even divide it and then close and rotate it. The road rail is even easier just slide the top part and close it to fit properly the Rod. So the installation process is done, 30 seconds you have to place it between the first two hooks of the curtain according to which direction inside you want to open it. After installation is completed you need to download the SwitchBot app on your smartphone to configure the robots. Just need to pair and connect to internet and set the beginning and the ending points of the rail and in just less than five minutes you're ready to move the curtain. Once configuration is finished there are four ways to control the curtains. So first you can open the app on your smartphone and precisely move it with a slider. Two, you can open it manually and if you enable follow it will automatically continue the movement you started. Three, you can pair it with a remote and four, this is the last one on the list and definitely my favorite you can voice control because using Google Home or Alexa or Siri you can move precisely the curtain from your couch with just your voice but to enable voice control you need a hub for example we have the hub mini that connects to internet and you can adjust in the app also the speed with performance mode which is faster or silence mode and customize the experience of course you can fully open the curtain or just open whichever step of the rail you want like 20% 50% just say it. But what are real life scenarios when I usually wake up in the morning I set a routine that lifts up my blinds and open the curtain so that the sunlight can come in the house. Of course I set up smart curtains in my studio as well and they open when I need to come in with my car in the garage in the studio and close when I need to record audio because they move sound dampening curtains so it's really smart but routines can be triggered with voice at a given time or connected to accessories like motion sensor so the variety is very wide and those are really powerful tools and give you a lot of room to play of course to be lightweight and cable free they need to have a battery. The life will of course vary according to how many times a day you use your curtain but it's pretty long. Switch will say it should last at least eight months and if you don't want to unmount it and plug in with the cable you can buy a separate photovoltaic 
panel and I think it's really convenient because the battery is recharged with the sun and of course it's a curtain so there will be a lot of sun and for 20-25 dollar I think it's a really a must. Anyway it's really simple to mount and uh, this is the final result. I was blown away by how many accessories you can get in the SwitchBot ecosystem from the remote to the infrared hub to motion sensor and alarms and photovoltaic modules and you can easily include in Google Home, Alexa, if TTT hub ecosystem and create some routines. So the switchboard robots cost around 90 to 100 dollars each and at first it might look very expensive to you but once you try it I think it's definitely worth it. Not the first product I will get to make my own smart but down the line definitely one product to get in the smart home evolution and if you think about the potential integration it's really cool with all the routines you want so this wraps up for today's video i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question please leave a comment be sure to like or dislike this video it works as well and as always i'll see you in the next one ciao